Hey, I'm Daryl D'Angelo Terrell, and I'm a 2023 Baxter Street Artist in Residence. It's never too late to admit that you love me. It explores sensuality, sexuality, desire, intimacy, love, in a multitude of ways. So it's not just romantic, but it's also platonic, it's also familial. The show is also a bit about longing and wanting to be seen in love and held and wanted in a very particular way. Showing the viewers of the work how I want to be held and touched and treated and loved. The show comprises of 13 photos. They're all of my alter ego, Dion. I started making Dion in grad school after a critique where someone asked, what do I love about myself? And the answer was difficult because all the things I came to terms that I loved about myself, societally, I was told I should not celebrate. I am six foot seven, almost 400 pounds, perceived as male, I'm black, I'm from Detroit. So all of these things are typically deemed as masculine, typically deemed as something that should be attributed towards a man. But since I was a kid, I love the color pink. <laughs> My favorite Power Ranger was the Pink and Yellow Ranger, right? I've always loved flowers. I love the things that were deemed soft or for women. And those are things I love about myself. So through Dion, Originally, it was my way of exploring what I love about myself, but also building a world in which the stuff that I love could flourish. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, right? We're the birthplace of Motown. We're also the birthplace of techno music, heavy contributor to house music, to spiritual jazz, to the mother of gospel music. All of these styles of music have been very influential in my life. It's an outlet, which I think is interesting because I don't make music. And I'm also a student of music and I'm consistently consuming it. Like, you come to my house, there's always going to be music playing. Music has been a way for me to express myself, which is why I started DJing, which is also why the works in the show are using these type of song directions. The piece titled Play Jill Scott album three, track 14, at one minute, 19 seconds, was the very first time I ever used that type of titling. I was in Senegal for a residency, my first time ever leaving the country. I applied for the residency with Dion, but Dion is a very visibly queer person, and I didn't think that would be the most safe for me to do at the time. So I retreated to doing this image in the bathroom of the apartment I was staying in. And I was going through the photos, as I'm going through the photos, I'm like actually listening to Jill Scott's album. And it got to the song, I Just Want to Be Loved. And she repeats it, I just want to be loved like everyone else does. I just want to be loved, I just want to be loved. I was like, mm, that face, that face feels like the song. That face feels like reminiscing and or dreaming and or longing for a moment where I would be loved the way I want to be loved. And I enjoyed that. I was like, how can I think about music as it relates to my practice? So that's how I ended up titling it that way. I feel like my practice is already a labor of love. Me as a person, I'm always providing a labor of love to other people. So for me, the titling was my way of flipping it and asking you to do a labor of love for me. So do the work. I'm like, hey, so the titles are directions. Do what they say. I remember I got to grad school and I told myself I would no longer make trauma-based work. <laughs> and I started making work about the black family structure, to my knowledge. And for me, that's all women. My family comprises of very strong black women, all of them who have lived, of course, different walks of life. And I remember photographing all the women in my family. So like, in preparation for this show, to listen to an album by Cleo Soul called Mother on repeat consistently. There's a song on the album that's called Build Me Up where she's asking for her mother to build her up, to love her, to nurture her, right? And me and my mom have a really great relationship, but I've always been slightly worried of like how she would react if I was to become the person, the child that she did not expect me to be. Which well, she's been very clear, I'm more, <laughs> I'm better than what she expected, which is wild. 
like that's where the motherhood comes is like me thinking about my relationship with her. So like in the show, there are two photos. One of them, it's titled Play Cleo Soul, album two, track four, at four minute, 19 seconds. And it's a part of the song, Build Me Up, where she sings, can you build me up? Can you love me with your open arms? It's like she is, and it's, she sings this with this beautiful choir behind her and it's like gorgeous. But on that photo, my mom's hand is holding my face. And then my hand is on top of hers. And a lot of people don't realize <laughs> That's her hand. And then there's another photo in the show, um, Play Melanie Charles, album one, track one, where Melanie Charles is singing God Bless the Child. It's like, of course, a jazz standard, but it's the way she sings God Bless the Child in this very particular moment where she draws out the child part and she draws out the bless. And it made me just think about me and my mama's relationship. And it's my first time actually introducing her into this world of Dion. So, yeah. I want, and, I, and I'll say this about all of my work, I want people to feel seen. With Dion, originally the work was very much insular. It's about myself, and it, to a degree still is. But it's also a reflection of, a, of the community that I'm a part of, right? All of my intersecting identities. I am fat, black, queer, disabled. I come from a single parent household, a working class household. Black is a metropolitan city in the, in the country, that being Detroit. So I want those people who exist at the identities or inter intersections to feel seen. Back to the Street is my first photography specific residency. So it was nice to have a residency that was dedicated to the genre of art that I work in. They provide a stipend that helps me make work. So I was able to rent a photo studio to make the works in the show. They helped me edit. There are some photos in this show that were almost about to be multiple series of four. <laughs> And it was like, you should narrow this down. So that was helpful. But also just getting feedback, because I've been out of the academy for so long that I don't get studio visits. But also just the overall support. It's really important to record your ideas so that you can always revisit them. Go to artist talks, build community wherever you are. Even if you're not in New York, go out and build community with people who are like-minded, with people who may not be like-minded. Be willing to accept critique. Critique is not always a form of hating. When people critique you because they care enough about you and your practice, they, they didn't want to see you do better. You don't have to go to school to be an artist. You don't have to go to school to be a successful artist. You can literally do whatever the hell you want to. To everyone who showed up to the opening, to my friends who flew in <laughs> for the opening and surprised me with sunflowers, and to my mama who's in the show, I just want to say thank you to Baxter Street. It's just been great, yeah.